Marjorie Kemp was an English mystic of the Middle Ages. She is famous for her autobiography. Marjorie was born in King's Lynn in 1373. Her father was a wealthy merchant. At that time King's Lynn was a large and important town and port. When she grew up Marjorie married a merchant named John Kemp. Soon she fell pregnant. In those days pregnancy was hazardous and many women died in childbirth. Marjorie had a difficult pregnancy and labor. Afraid that she was dying she sent for a priest to confess her sins to. However, the priest spoke to her very harshly and this seems to have triggered a period of mental illness. Eventually, Marjorie Kemp had a vision of Jesus. He said, Daughter why have you forsaken me, for I have never forsaken you. Afterward, she returned to normal. Marjorie decided to start her own brewing business. It was by no means unusual in the Middle Ages for women to run their own businesses. However, the brewing was not a success. Marjorie then ran a horse mill to grind people's corn to grain. However, the horse mill was also a failure. Marjorie Kemp believed that God was punishing her for her covetousness and pride and she determined to turn over a new leaf. She had a series of visions and she insisted on having a sexless marriage. Previously in 20 years of marriage Marjorie had 14 children. Unfortunately, in those days infant mortality was very high so it's unlikely many of them survived. Marjorie Kemp then traveled around England to visit various churchmen like bishops. Her husband accompanied her. She also visited the female mystic Julian of Norwich. In 1413 Marjorie Kemp went on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. In those days people went on long trips to religious shrines. In 1417 Marjorie went on a pilgrimage to Spain. When she returned Marjorie went to Leicester. While in Leicester Marjorie Kemp was arrested and accused of being a Lollard. Lollards were a religious movement founded by the famous Christian John Wycliffe. Lollards were persecuted by the Catholic Church. However, Marjorie was soon released. In 1431 her husband John Kemp died. Then in 1433 Marjorie, now an old woman visited Danzig. Marjorie Kemp could not read and write but she dictated a book about her life. It was called the Book of Marjorie Kemp. It is not known when Marjorie Kemp died but it is believed it was in 1438 or sometime afterward.